I want us to actively pray for the church and for this assembly. Uh, let's ask God to help us break every barrier in the name of Jesus Christ. I'd like you to stand. Let me tell you how serious this prayer is. It's after this we can collect our offering. If you don't pray this prayer, don't put an offering. I want you to be conscious of what we're doing. I want us to commit this church into the hands of God and say, Lord, every barrier that has been placed upon this church this morning, break it. You see, as the sun is rising, the glory of this church will rise in the name of Jesus. You will see some things happen. And let's be honest with ourselves. Let's pray. Let's pray. And say, Lord, in this church, arise and break every barrier that has been placed upon this church. Every limitation that this church has operated under, that the Lord will break it. The Lord has a purpose and a plan for us. We want it broken. We are saying enough is enough. We want the church to be rightly positioned to where God has put it. And therefore, this morning we are praying, Lord, arise and break it. Beloved, I'm very serious with this prayer point. That God will arise in this chapel of Christ, our light, and break and take away every limitation, every barrier, everything contending with God in this assembly. The Lord will flush it away. We don't want these things contending with, it, with this church to see the month of March. Everything contending with this church. Every power contending with this church. I want you to pray. Open your mouth and pray. Wherever they are located, wherever it, they are positioned, everything contending with this church, that the Lord will tear it down. The Lord will tear it down. The Lord has made a promise, I will build my church. The gates of hell will not prevail. Lord, arise in this place. Take away every limitation. Everything positioned to hinder this church. That the Lord will judge it and take it away. Known and unknown to us. Your second prayer point is, Lord, tear the heavens open over this church. That the heavens over this church will tear open. It will burst open. Whatever is contending with the blessing of God upon this place and in this place, that the Lord will tear it away. The Lord will tear it away himself. Whatever is contending with the purpose and the blessing of God over this assembly, Lord, in your power, take it away. Take it away. Take it away. Whatever is hindering God and hindering the move of God in this place, Lord, let your fire come upon such. Let them be consumed by the fire of God. Let them be consumed by the fire of God. We're talking about breaking through. If the church does not break through, you can't break through. Let's pray and say, Lord, whatever it is, let your fire come. 
from the altar to the pew, everything causing a hindrance to the move of God. Lord, take away from us. Take away from us. We want to see your hand bare in this assembly. We want to see you wipe away every hindrance, everything challenging your authority. God in this place. The Bible says, in the day of his power, the people will be willing. We're concentrating on the church, not on ourselves. That's why I say pray. If you don't pray, don't put an offering. Don't, don't. It's not needed. If you will not stand in the gap for this assembly, there is no need. Lord, in this place, sanctify your name. Sanctify your name. That men will fear your name. That men will fear your name. That your name will be reverenced on this campus. In this place. Holy Spirit of God, help us. That the Lord will wipe away everything that we can make his face to be turned against us. Let's ask the Lord to help us. Help us. We can't help ourselves. Be glorified in this place. Be enthroned alone. Everything contending with you, God, in this assembly. Kick them out. Everything keeping us in one spot. In one spot. Lord, destroy. Lord, destroy. Lord, destroy. I want us to pray and say, Lord, let it rain upon this assembly. The Lord has been gracious to us. The Lord has been kind to us. Let's ask that it will rain. That it will rain. That it will rain. Ask it to rain. Remember the Bible says the husbandman is the first partaker of the first fruit. I'd like you to ask that it will rain. It will rain. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Thank you, Father. Because we have prayed in the name of Jesus Christ. And we'll receive the answers as well. We will see the manifestation. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. And the saints of God will say, Amen.